Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about Mepilex silicone foam dressing. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, it would be truly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. Mepilex silicone foam is a highly conformable dressing with a silicone adhesive layer for a non-traumatic removal. We can use this dressing on wounds with a moderate to large amount of exudate. We can use it on friable wound beds in fragile peri wound tissue. And it can be used with compression therapy. Some precautions. So we want to talk to our physician or the wound care specialist in charge of the wound um, for any, any patients with ischemic lower legs or feet before using this product. When using any Mepilex product, um, if you're using an oxidizing agent such as hydrogen peroxide, you want to make sure that you're drying the peri wound off very well before applying this dressing. Contraindications, so we're not going to be using this with any skin barriers or sealants. And if redness or sensitivity occurs, then we're going to discontinue use. So just like any wound, we are first off going to cleanse the wound uh, with normal saline or sterile water and just ensure that the peri wound is then dried. Um, and then to apply the dressing, we're going to make sure that the pad portion um, does extend past the wound at least two centimeters. So this, this dressing, it can be cut, uh, but just make sure that it does extend past the actual wound borders by two centimeters. Okay, and once again, if you're using any oxidizing agent such as hydrogen peroxide, that you are drying off the peri wound very well before you apply. So when you go to apply this dressing, you're just going to center it over top of the wound and just hold it down around the peri wound tissue um, to make sure that it does stick well. Um, so this can be used as a primary dressing or a secondary dressing um, if in combination with another dressing if needed. Um, and you're just going to tape down the edges or secure it with cling. So to remove this dressing, you're just going to gently remove uh, the tape or cling and peel up off the dressing, um, just nice and slowly. The outcome, um, the expected outcome of using this uh, foam is that there is no peri wound maceration. The frequency of the dressing change, so it is good for up to seven days, um, but it's going to completely depend on the amount of exudate or drainage coming out of the wound. So once the um, exudate is within two centimeters of the edge of the dressing, we want to replace it, okay? And I have included here the different sizes, okay, um, that it does come in. So that is all that I have for today's video. Um, I hope you found it helpful and I will catch you in my next one. See you guys.